If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the Team of the Week Week 11 reveal. Super exciting to go over all this stuff, guys. I mean, obviously, we see some of the reveals from the nights before, but I do enjoy commentating over it and kind of getting giving my input on these cards and kind of what I think about the performances and what they did end up getting. Pretty. Pretty decent fantasy week for as far as my team went, guys. I like to always talk a little bit about fantasy football in these videos. My team did pretty well. I mean, I did get Saquon Barkley back finally. No, I did not draft him. I traded for him on a buy low uh, like five weeks ago when he got hurt again, which I really like because I'm in playoff position, so I get to just get him back. Hopefully, he bounces back to, you know, at least 90%. I got Swift. Swift went off. Had a Chase, McLaurin, Hurts. Good week for me, honestly. But yeah, nonetheless, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, guys, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, which is a DFS daily fantasy app. And down below, I have a link and code for you guys that will get you up to a free $100 in your first deposit, which pretty much free money to go ahead and enter with. So make sure you check that out. Super fun. Usually spend a lot of my nights on there building some lineups. So check it out. First, we got Joe Mixon here. Halfback for the Bengals. So there's going to be a power up upgrade, of course, power up expansion because this is not going to be his main card. So you see here he has an 88 overall power up now. Nothing too crazy, right? It's an 88 overall. It's not going to be some meta card. Bengals team teams maybe could use him at like fullback or as a second running back if there's a better one. Or maybe even the main one. I haven't keeping up with the Bengals team team. Got Chris Jones. Chris Jones, 83 overall offensive tackle for the Chiefs. Obviously, there's another power upgrade, which is something interesting you will be seeing in about a second. If you look at Chris Jones here, Crayola did show us the power up for Chris Jones. 89 overall, 970 training to get his 89. But if you look, he has a 3,850 next training slot and then a 6,000 training slot. So what we pretty much take away from this is that he will be getting a Blitz LTD later this week. And that's already been planned because we were do we were checking. So Matt Stafford LTD at his 95 overall power up spot is a 6,000 power up increase. Allegedly, right? So that means he's getting 95. We do have heavyweights coming tomorrow, but I do not think Chris Jones is getting a 6,000 training increase at heavyweight tomorrow. That doesn't make sense. So that should be a Blitz LTD. That is what we should be seeing. Or a last second harvest LTD, which I don't think that's the case because we have Blitz coming out Thursday night more than likely. So yeah, Chris Jones, pretty much a nice little leaked LTD there or one of the first Blitz players. That should be a 95 overall Chris Jones. Now at his current overall, Chris Jones only 65 speed with 90 power move. And this is block shed on here. I do not see block shed. Block shed is going to be, if it's a 79 there, it's probably around like an 87. So probably like a 90 power move and an 87 block shed, give or take, or 86 block shed. So this next card will probably have more like more than more than not, like a 71 speed with like 86 excel, but with like all above 90 impact blocking power moving, power move and block shed. So the card will be pretty good. It's a defensive tackle though, but it'll still be pretty good. Next we have Taylor Heineke. Quarterback for the Washington football team. 88 speed, 91 throw power. Actually, not horrible. You know, overall, not a great card. But, I mean, if you're running a Washington football team, theme team, it's pretty fast. Grambler archetype with TJ Edwards, middle linebacker for the Eagles. 87 speed, 91 excel, 88 hit power. Not a bad budget Eagles user. He cannot do, he has no zone, no block shot. But if you use him, he does have 87 speed, 91 excel, 88 hit power. Not a horrible user. It's funny how he's a run stopper, run stopper archetype. But he's not really that good at stopping the run on his, you know, on the card. But yeah, Zach Ertz next. So he's one of the free 90s guys. Remember, you do get a free 90 overall from the solos. Zach Ertz, 88 speed on Zach Ertz is actually really good. He's usually like a, like always slow, just always. 78 strength, 90 catching, 87 catch in traffic, 89 spec catch, 88 short running, 84 medium run running, and 66 run blocking. Well-rounded card, honestly, not a bad free elite to take. Cardinals team teams, of course, I do not think have that many tight ends. Um, he would be really good in that sense, but otherwise, I mean, he's a good catching tight end powered up, of course, with the 90 spec. He'll get the 89 short running and he'll get 85 medium. I mean, obviously he's not a meta tight end, but 89 speed with the all around like high 80 to low 90 stats. Pretty good card. Jimmy Smith, wide receiver for the Jaguars. Now we've been expecting this card almost all year because he did like tweet that he would have been a Madden or something this year. So we've been waiting for this card to come. 93 speed on Jimmy Smith. That's really good. 85 jumping's a little low. 92 catching. 89 catch in traffic, 91 spec, 90 short running, 91 medium by running, 94 deep by running. This does mean he gets all thresholds. He's above 90 catching all around, above 90 route running all around, with 94 speed powered up. He has a really good card. Really good card. Jason Taylor. And for the Dolphins, always super athletic. 88 speed, 91 excel on Jason Taylor. That is really good. 
91 strength, really good. 91 tackle, that's elite. 94 play rec, that's elite. Blocks at 92, 88 power move, 93 finesse move. Powered up and everything, 89 power move is going to fall one short, but he has the finesse, so we're, we're, we're okay with that. Uh, he'll get 89 speed, 92 excel. Jason Taylor's going to be a top tier card as per usual. Going to be good. Jonathan Taylor gets another upgrade. He actually just got a 92 overall team of the week a few weeks ago. And here he is again. He did deserve it. He's been, he's been on a tear. 93 speed for Jonathan Taylor. That's great. 92 excel, 93 agility, 92 carrying, 82 catching, 93 change of direction, 90 truck, 93 break tackle. Very similar to Alvin Kamara. I'd really like to compare these cards front to back, right? To really see which one I like better. But same speed. And they're both going to be really good at receiving as well as being an elusive back. I'd have to check like abilities, archetypes, and everything else, and like kind of they're behind the card stats. But Jonathan Taylor is a better power back than Alvin Kamara, right? 93 break tackle, 90 trucking, also 94 speed powered up, also 94 change of direction, also gonna have above 90 juke, probably. Also gonna have good stiff arm, better strength, probably better weight as well. So interested to see how that turns out. Next we have Rob Gronkowski, 95 overall Rob Gronkowski. That's pretty crazy. He just got a 93 overall most fear card. So that's shocking to see him get another card. Now this is on the Patriots, of course. That's pretty cool. 89 speed. 87 strength, 8, 93 catch, 95 catch in traffic, 94 spec, 89 short, 84 medium, 89 run blocking. Now, I don't like the route running, but this is Gronk. He's going to have a 90 speed, and that's really high for Gronk. Gronk typically does not get great speed in this game. Mind you, also, Gronk's super heavy. Like, he has, like, a really good, like, weight ratio when it comes to, like, next-gen Madden, as well as good stiff arm, good truck. And he's going to be, like, when he gets the ball in the open field, he's usually hard to tackle or at least hit stick. Not to mention, he gets 89 run blocking, which is 90 run blocking power up, guys. That's a lineman. You can see Gronk is an extra lineman now. Here's what I'd like to use him. I'd like to have my main fast tight end first. Gronk is my second tight end. And you come out like in single back or, you know, double tight ends, anything where he's on the line. You can block him in, a, in the run game or as an extra blocker in general. And he will hold up like a six lineman. That's pretty awesome. Not many tight ends can do that while also being 90 speed. So like if you come out like in a, in a with, so the two tight ends, it looks like a, a big running formation. They're going to be run committing. You can go out and play action, and Gronk can get off that so fast and still be like a receiver for you. I really like him. I think it's a good card. Then we have Quinton Williams as the final part of this video, which is going to be the early heavyweight reveal. 78 speed, 88 excel. That is not great. But he's a defensive tackle, right? I mean, like, I guess for a defensive tackle, that's good, but it's not great. 88 strength is decent. 91 tackle is good, and 89 play rec is good. 92 block shed, 89 power move, 78 finesse move. Powered up and chemed up. He will have a 90 power move. Above 90 power move, above 90 block shed, above 90 play rec, above 90 tackle. 89 excel, 89 strength, 79 speed. Good card, not a great card. He is going to be a free defensive tackle at some point when you do get it, but by the time you get that free card, I don't think he'll be as usable. I don't think this card will be on many teams, but on a Jets team, team, going to be a great card regardless. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and of course, comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite. I mean, I really liked a few of these cards. I think Jonathan Taylor is really good, although I wouldn't really invest too heavily in him because he's similar to the Kamara, and then I know we're going to get a new card soon. Like, we're going to get crazy back soon. And we have Bo coming out Thursday. So I know we're going to have some crazy stuff coming out pretty soon with that Bo Nose ability. We have the Blitz coming. We have Christmas coming. A lot of stuff still coming. But Jason Taylor was really good. Jimmy Smith was really good. I mean, these lower cards weren't horrible. Chris Jones is coming. Uh, but I really like the Jimmy Smith and the Jason Taylor, followed by Taylor, Jonathan Taylor, Gronk. They were all pretty good. Quentin Zeeson, but of course, he's a heavyweight 92. It is what it is at that point. But yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you want to check out Underdog Fantasy and get your free 100 bucks using my code, go down below. There will be a link. Click on it. You can download the app. And of course, use my code. It's free to sign up. But if you use my code, you can get some free money as well. So make sure you do check that out. Use my code. If you guys need coins, head down below. The link will be down below there as well. You know everything. I keep you guys updated in the comments. Everything will be there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you like this Team of the Week drop. We have tomorrow, Wild Card Wednesday. And we have Thursday, Thanksgiving. You know, hope happy early Thanksgiving, guys. We're getting there. We're almost there. And then we have the Blitz, hopefully, later that night. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.